Welcome to our channel, where we explore 10 actors who destroyed their own careers. Before we get started, be sure to give that like button a little love and hit subscribe to stay in the loop for future exciting content. 1. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen was at one point following in the successful professional footsteps of his father, Martin, starring in the likes of Oliver Stone's Platoon, Wall Street, Young Guns, and The Rookie in the latter part of the 20th century. He famously starred in the sitcom Two and a Half Men, which ended in 2011. It was that year that everything came crashing down for Sheen too. He had serious drug and alcohol problems, not to mention his marital issues and accusations of domestic violence. But the moment that pretty much put an end to Sheen's career was a famous interview in which he said he could bang seven grand rocks of crack cocaine, showing that he'd taken his addiction too far to ever come back to the limelight. 2. Felicity Huffman Felicity Huffman is best known for her portrayal of Lynette Scavo in the highly popular comedy drama series Desperate Housewives and also for her effort in the film Transamerica, in which she plays a transgender woman, Magnolia, reversal of fortune and cake. However, Huffman was once left shamed, and her career was torn to pieces. In 2019, Huffman was arrested for being involved in a college entrance exam cheating scandal. She was charged with committing fraud, but was released on a $250,000 bail. And after she pleaded guilty, Huffman had to do community service and pay a $30,000 fine. Sure, the actor's actions are far from the worst on this list, but they have still pretty much ruined her career, and she's barely acted since. 3. Michael Richards Seinfeld remains one of the most popular American sitcoms of all time, and actor Michael Richards is best known for playing his character Cosmo Kramer. Richards had first come through as a stand-up comedian before performing in the likes of Cheers, Coneheads, and Trial and Error. But back in 2006, Richards completely shot himself in the foot and revealed himself to be an ignorant racist during a stand-up routine. The comedian couldn't help but go into a racist rant whilst being heckled, using the N-word on several occasions and making references to lynching. Richards has made a guest appearance in Curb Your Enthusiasm, but he's largely been excluded from the entertainment industry. 4. Kevin Spacey Kevin Spacey is one of the most successful actors on this list, having won two Academy Awards, a Bath Day, a Tony, and two Laurence Oliviers. He starred in the likes of Working Girl, The Usual Suspects, American Beauty, Glengarry Glen Ross, and Seven, among several other acclaimed pictures. However, it's highly unlikely that Spacey will ever be able to return to his former glory following a highly publicized court case over alleged sexual misconduct and grooming. Spacey was kicked off Netflix's House of Cards, and he lost out on several other roles he'd already either performed or agreed to. Spacey was cleared of any wrongdoing, but the damage is likely to have already been done. 5. Randy Quaid Throughout his film career, Randy Quaid has been nominated for an Academy Award, a BAFTA, and a Golden Globe. He's performed in some great movies and TV shows, including The Last Detail, Midnight Express, Elvis, A Streetcar Named Desire, National Lampoon's Vacation, and Brokeback Mountain. However, Quaid's actions in his later years pretty much brought about the end of his career. He and his wife were arrested for not paying a $10,000 hotel bill, and then again for squatting in a home they used to own. The actor then turned to conspiracy theories and claimed he was being pursued by a group called the Hollywood Star Whackers, who supposedly took out Heath Ledger and Chris Penn. Unsurprisingly, Quaid has not returned to acting, nor do any producers want him to. 6. Bill Cosby Back in the 1980s, Bill Cosby was considered America's dad after his performance of Cliff Huxtable on The Cosby Show. He'd already starred in the likes of Uptown Saturday Night, Let's Do It Again, and The Electric Company, and received several awards and honorary degrees for his efforts. However, all the recognition was revoked when sexual assault allegations were re-aimed at the actor in 2014. Such allegations had already come to light in the preceding years, but when Hannibal Beerus mentioned them in a stand-up routine, several women came forward with further allegations against the actor. Cosby was convicted and imprisoned, and his career is well and truly over. 7. Mel Gibson 
Mel Gibson's achievements in the film industry are widespread, both as an actor and as a director. He famously played Max Rokotinsky in Mad Max and Martin Riggs in Lethal Weapon, before his work on the 1995 historical epic Braveheart saw him adorned with Academy Awards for Best Director and Best Picture. However, towards the end of the 2000s, Gibson was involved in some widely publicized incidents, which saw his career plummet. While being arrested for a DUI crime, Gibson began an anti-Semitic tirade and followed up a few years later, during a break from Hollywood, with several racist and misogynistic comments made to his ex-girlfriend Oksana Grigorieva, to whom Gibson had also been violent too. However, unlike most on this list, the actor and director has since made a comeback, even winning for their Oscars, but a dark cloud continues to hang over this once shining Hollywood light. 8. Danny Masterson There's no other role that Danny Masterson is associated with more than Stephen Hyde on the late 1990s, early 2000s American sitcom That 70s Show, although he also performed in Man at Work and The Ranch. Masterson was one of TV's memorable faces, but his despicable actions put pay to his fame. In May 2023, Masterson was convicted of forcible rape by two women who were, like Masterson himself, members of the Church of Scientology. The allegations were filed some six years prior, but the trial was complicated, and it took time for Masterson to be convicted. A third charge was left inconclusive, but now Masterson will never work in film again. 9. Louis C.K. The stand-up routines of comedian and actor Louis C.K. are well regarded, having been adorned with several awards. C.K. came through the ranks writing for David Letterman, Conan O'Brien, and Dana Carvey before delivering his own specials, including Shameless, Hilarious, and Oh My God. But in 2017, an article in the New York Times featured several claims against the comedian and highlighted the fact that he'd been involved in a number of sexual misconduct over the years. His film I Love You, Daddy was pulled from distribution, and he had a period of time out of the spotlight. CK, like Mel Gibson, has made something of a comeback after apologizing for his former actions, but he's not half as popular as he once was, with some claiming he should not still be performing. 10. Army Hammer Army Hammer had first came to the public's attention after playing Billy Graham in 2008's Robbie Benson film Billy. The early years and cemented his fame after applying the twins Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss in The Social Network by David Fincher. He also starred in the likes of Jay Edgar, the man from Uncall, and Luca Bottignino's Call Me By Your Name. Hammer's career was looking solid at the beginning of the 2020s, but when allegations of serious sexual abuse came in against the actor, his future was doomed. Hammer made things all the worse when he claimed the allegations were merely part of an online attack, and although no charges have been pursued against the actor, it looks as though his career will never take off again. Please support and show appreciation by hitting super thanks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. We appreciate you being part of our community. Until next time, take care and stay awesome.